In this video, I am going to show you how to bind the sides of your sleigh. Now you've already cut out four different pieces for the sides. Each side consists of two separate pieces, the mirror image of each other. Now each of these pieces will be bound separately. Take your binding strip and fold the beginning of the binding strip down about a half an inch. We recommend using a quarter inch foot and if you can see it's got a flange on this side of the foot it will help keep that uh, quarter inch seam nice and even. Also you'll want to have an extra piece of binding strip just in case you don't go all the way around. You'll, you'll just add this to the other end of the binding. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and sew. Now I place the binding strip fairly close to this corner, to, the, to this corner right here, uh, because if I have to add this second strip on, that seam will fall back here instead of at a corner or in the back, so it'll be the, on the bottom of the slag. So you do not have to back stitch at the beginning. Just start stitching uh, just a little bit before where your fold is. And you're going to sew all the way around. Now when you get to a corner, I do like to use tweezers. Uh, and the point, the ones with the pointed ends are very good. They act like a little stiletto. So just let that quarter inch seam glide right around that corner. And you're going to stitch very, very slowly. Try not to let your binding fold. Now you've cut these bindings uh, on the width-wise grain of your, your um, fabric. So it's going to have just a little bit of a stretch in it. So you should be able to get around all these curves um, if you stitch nice and slowly. So I'm going to keep going around. One of the things that you want to do is make sure that your needle is in the down position in case you need to stop for a minute and reposition your your fabric, you won't move the seam over. So just keep going around and around. And again, you can go fairly quickly on the straight edge, but when you get to a curve, uh, try and go nice and slowly so that it's as neat as it possibly can be. So we'll go all the way around here. Almost done. Now on this curve right on this um, corner right here, that is a straight corner, so you're going to miter that corner, and I'll show you what I mean by that when we get there. So once you're down here, you're going to stop a quarter of an inch away from the edge of that, lift your presser foot, and needle is up. Pull that out, um, position your fabric, fold your fabric back, and position it so that the line of the fabric is in line with the bottom of the slag. Then fold this forward, slide it back in underneath your presser foot, and continue to sew. Now at the very end, you want to overlap the beginning and the end. Now, you're not going to fold this end back. You can keep that nice and straight. Overlap it about a half an inch and just sew right through the end. Take it from your machine. And then what you're going to do is you're going to uh, press this to the back. So you're going to fold your binding very, very, very tightly over that edge. You are going to have to clip this inside curve 
in order to get that nice and tight. So I'm going to go ahead and clip that. Now I'm going to purposely clip it a little bit longer than I would want you to clip it because I want to show you how to correct that. So starting on the bottom, you're going to use your iron, and I do like to use these little travel irons because they have a Teflon sole plate. They're very hot, so be careful. Again, pull the binding very tightly around the edge so it's a nice clean edge. And as you iron it, you'll notice how this fuses to the back. This is a double-sided fusible stiff interfacing, so it's great for this particular project. What this uh, process does is it helps to finish the edge. Ooh, that's toasty warm. So again, pull it very tightly over the edge and around the corners. Like that. Now, if you look up here, notice how that clip is has gotten close to the edge. It's actually pat, past the stitching line. If when you place your pieces together, like this, you can actually see any of the white of your interfacing, just simply take your magic marker that matches your binding and color that section right in. When you sew, you won't even see that. Your next step is to take these two pieces, place them right sides together, trim all your threads and everything, clip them all the way around, and then you're going to stitch in the binding ditch to attach your two sides together. That's it.